Okay, so the biggest part of using AI is the actual implementation of it. I'm going to show you what we're using today from our Facebook forms all the way down uh, to actually booking the appointment. And we actually don't book appointments, so I'm going to show you what we do instead. So I'm going to go over to the screen here. Easy enough. We'll make it super, super simple. Um, and you can see the opt-in rate is about 70% of Facebook uh, leads and I guess you can throw in organic traffic on there but we don't have uh, too much activity on organic traffic right now it's mostly coming from paid traffic where cost per lead is under about 20 bucks and we're paying about $25 per booked appointment with a 30-ish percent a little bit higher on uh, booked appointments not including follow-up so I'm going to show you the couple workflows here we're not using this follow-up we're not using this activation so we have these two here this appointment reminder, which is new and reconstructed since we're not taking sales appointments now. And the follow-up that we're using here to generate follow-up and keep up with these leads. This is the infinity follow-up. I'll show you that here. So in an ac applicable use case, what I'll do is I'm going I'm to pause the screen, pull over my AI too so that you can see it. Okay, so let's hop over to the AI. I'll show you what the AI is doing and then I'll show you the workflows behind it. Now I'm in the way. So let me pop this over and I'll pop it over again. There we go, perfect. Okay, so I don't have much here. I have a quick identity, which is just saying that Haley's a sales rep. Her job is to converse qualified book appointments and she responds in one sentence or less with no emoji. So I'm just kind of prefacing who this AI is. The style guardrails and the response guidelines is the same one that comes in all generated prompts or just torture tested on both voice and chat, so no big deal. And then we have our task framework, which I'll pull up for you here. So this is just six steps here, which is scraping the user's website or the context website that comes through. Give them a compliment about their website and something tangibly from it. Ask them if they're using AI and some conditionals on the back half of it. Ask them if they're using Go High Level and if so, what plan of Go High Level and then propose and book an appointment. So nothing crazy. The only crazy things, I guess, if, if you could call it that, is the conditionals based on their answers. But we won't get too much into that. So very, very basic qualifying and booking uh, assistant. Now, I do have some verbiage in here, all casual. Um, so I'm replacing things like traditional AI output, like great, perfect, with just some easy enough, very cool stuff here. And the tools that I'm using is pretty much... Um, all the pre-built tools plus a couple custom tools which is just the uh, if you look here I have uh, remove lead uh, the, the active tag itself I also have search the web and then scrape raw which is just allowing us to scrape their website all right and so that fits into task number one here but nothing crazy in this AI I have it booking to a sales calendar and I have it vector storing to a knowledge base here I won't go too crazy into that, but it's pretty simple setup. This, in fact, if if I didn't tell you otherwise, you would assume that this one's just generated and connected to these things, which it actually was. The majority of the tasks were generated. I just rewarded them a little bit there. All right, so then I have my active tag and my phone number there. And then I'll show you this other one that I have here that we use to call and confirm appointments. We're not taking sales appointments right now. But this was in the other workflow I told you we just rebuilt the appointment confirmation one. Uh, but this was in the other one, and this was very, very simple. Pretty simple in the same way of just asking them, hey, we have an appointment in an hour. Are you able to make it? And, you know, if yes, hang up. If no, reschedule it or cancel it. Uh, and this one does have my clone voice on it, so it would call and say, hey, you have an appointment with me in some odd hours, you know, an hour or whatever it was. Uh, but that was in the appointment confirmation, and reminder, that one's not on there anymore, so no need to worry about it. So we just have this one. This one runs all the volume right now. And we have this first one, which is just someone comes in from a Facebook lead form here. Pretty easy. Now, I tag everything for attribution. This is just personal preference. Uh, when we go back and we start to do DBRs, it's easier just to say um, filter contacts by Facebook lead form that haven't booked an appointment, and it just makes uh, reactivation super easy. And then I have it assigned here to a user. This user was created specifically for the AI, so attribution on contacts are specifically assigned to this fake user that, um, that we've 
pretty much just assign to AI, round robins, things like that. And then what we do is we put a 21 minute wait here for compliant hours. And what is the wait here for? Well, it's right now it's just to check if they submitted the website opt-in. So the traffic from the Facebook ad is being sent to the actual landing page. We don't have a funnel or anything, it's just the landing page. And if they opt in, then they're given the tag website lead form. And so all this is doing is checking, okay, they went through the Facebook, um, you know, the flow there, but did they just go to the website and opt in? So are we getting, you know, like hard opt-ins? This is just a check for it. After 21 minutes, somebody's either going to leave your website or they're going to opt in. And so this is all that it's for. So if they went through the website thing, we just take them out. They're already kind of going through this just in a separate way. We have more information. On this one, though, if they didn't submit the website form, we send a SMS after that 21 minutes and say, oops, sorry, we forgot to connect the workflow. Uh, three, uh, 0.3 minutes later, which is about 18 seconds. Apologies for that. Um, we have about an 18 second wait here and then we hit them with a, just kidding, I'm AI, I don't forget about anything. Then we do another 12 second wait and we add our active tag. The reason we add it after all of this is if they reply anywhere in here that the AI is not, you know, it's not interrupting our flow. So about 12 seconds after this text, we're adding our active tag and then we're immediately going into a context injection to say, hey, this is a Facebook lead. Uh, so this is a warm paid interaction. Ask them for their website, scrape it to see what they do. It falls in line with task number one on the prompt, right? And then we have a start follow-up, which is just throwing them in that beginning of the infinity follow-up from the separate video. And then just a catch-all here. I always love to do catch-alls at the end of my workflow, just in case they want to add more to this. They're already in there and I don't have to go find them and re-add them and you know do all the fun stuff. So they're all in here. And then the website one is the same thing, just different tag, no if else, because it's kind of a, you know, it's a second tier action, right? They're opting in. We just need to check for it on the first thing, but it's the same thing. And then we catch them there. All right. So once they've done that and they've gone through and booked an appointment again, this is a new one. We just had to rebuild. Um, you know, we went through a separate thing for accounting for different calendars. And so we just rebuilt the workflow. And so this one just waits five minutes after the appointment schedule. We cancel it on the calendar. We tell them we don't take appointments. And then we let them know, uh, we send them some resources and, and um, you know, tell them to sign up and, and they'll go through an onboarding call. Super simple, right? So the only thing other than that is the follow-up here, which is just the infinity follow-up video. And so what this is doing, and you'll see it work, there's there's a few people in here. So there's 16 here, 20 here, 17 here, 7, 7 here, 14 here. So she's churning. Um, and what it's just doing is checking if they're an AI lead. And if it is, it's just going in and out of follow-up constantly here um, using this context injection with how many days it's taken to get their attention the last time they responded or if they didn't respond at all. Um, so pretty simple, pretty easy. And this has resulted in some good conversations. And if we go here, we can maybe even see some going on. Um, so you'll see here. And the verbiage is really, really nice, really good. Um, and you'll see uh, kind of going through here, each one of the conversations all the way down um, as these leads start to trickle in from Facebook and other platforms. And you'll see the injection may change depending on where they're from. So. That's the current client acquisition system. I hope this helps you with a more practical use case here on deploying this AI. This is how we do it, and it results in about 30, 35% booking rate from paid traffic at about $25 to $30 an appointment booked. And uh, most of those convert, even, even though we don't do the appointment, most of those convert and then go to the onboarding call. So the metrics are pretty high, but we keep it simple. Just like I say all the time, kiss it, keep it super simple. Um, that's all we do here. So hope that's helpful. Thanks so much.